Now everybody tends to associate caddis patterns with river fishing, but they can actually be very, very good when fishing small still waters as well. Fishing it on a point is a team of three. And this caddis, which is unbelievably easy to tie, that's why it's called easy peasy caddis, um, is very, very effective. We can change the color of the floss to whatever you want. An orange one is a good one. Fire red is good, so is lime green and peach. But white is the one, the original. So let's go ahead and tie the white. I'll start off by using, because I tend to fish this in rivers, and my target's grayling, I've got a barbless size 10 nymph hook. I've also got small three mil black tungsten bead. Uh, on small still waters, I would just use your normal brass bead, black brass bead, but for rivers, tungsten. Secure that in device, and I've got here some uh, thick lead wire. Starting at the bend, work your way up, and touch and turns. Stopping a little bit behind the bead, pull it off. Now with your scissors, you can smooth this down and push it, push it up into the bead like so. To stop the wire moving too much, butt up to it with your floss. I'm tying here with floss because I'm going to use that in the actual tying, which you'll see. So create that taper about here and come over the, the lead. With open wraps, backwards and forwards, just covering it up. That way it shan't move when it's being fished. On my side of the hook shank, just as a little bit of flash deep down, I've got a little bit of copper wire, medium. Tight on my side of the hook shank. Bringing it right down to the rear, down the taper. Careful with your floss. Floss is a lot more temperamental than thread, as you can see there. I've just caught a frayed end. And now take some uh, dubbin. This is quite a coarse rabbit dubbin, natural. Uh, you can also use squirrel or hare's ear. And firm, form quite a tight dubbin rope. Fat, but quite tight because we'll pull a lot of these fibres out. Make sure it's nice and even. It's a cardis, so it's straight all the way through. Coming up, over all the floss. Keeping the body nice and even as you go. A little bit more on there. You just want a little bit of the, the white is your little peeper bit, little peeper section of the fly. So you can see I've got a lot of guard hairs in there, like so. Now, just come up, through, Bring your copper to an end. And then just snap the copper off like so. Let your fingers pull all the fibers away from the peeping area. And it's this little white bit that you'd see in a normal car that's peeping out with its black head. Just tidy everything up so it's nice and even. Quite a few wraps here, because you want it to be white, white. Uh, and you'll only get that by building up the white over white. If you just do it over the, the copper and the lead, it'll, it'll shine through, the lead will come through, so you'll get like a grey colour. You want it brilliant white, like so. And then just behind the eye, coming and whip finish. Keeping everything nice and even. And snip. It's a very simple cardis. 
bit of varnish, covering the white. Again, if you never had enough white on there, the lead would come through, so you'd get a grey. We get a nice layer of varnish on the white. It's nice and robust. Nice and robust fly. And then come in with your scissor tips or a dubbing needle. And just start pulling some of that fibres out of there. So you've got that rough look at Cardis. Like so. Easy peasy Cardis. Very simple, easy to tie, devastating on rivers and still waters.